Hello and welcome to the FieldCom.net training series. In this session we're going to learn how to receive work from our office and also how to print and email work orders. We've now logged into FieldCom and we're ready to receive some work orders from the office. We will go to the Exchange screen which we get to by clicking on the Exchange button up in the toolbar. Now that we have the exchange screen open, we're going to go to the Send Receive button. And when we click on it, we get a menu. And we'll click on Send Receive once again. This is going to do two things. It's going to send out any results that we've already got tagged to send back to the office. Things like pictures, or report forms, or bids, or invoices and it's also going to download new work that the office has sent us. It's now receiving the work and when it has finished it will say 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. And now we can click on close. And here we can see all the orders that we have queued up. So these have all been requested for us to do. We have to bring them into the system because right now they're in the inbound order queue but they're not actually inside of FieldCom. So to bring them into FieldCom so we can begin processing them, we first must click on Select All and this is going to highlight all of them. Then we're going to click on the Accept Selected Orders button and that's going to bring them all into fieldcom.net. Now we can see that the inbound orders queue is now empty because all of those orders that we had brought in from the office are now part of our fieldcom.net system. So now I'm going to click close and we're going to have the today screen. Now the today screen is very useful. It's going to show us the health status of everything in our system so we can see what is open, we can see what is late, uh, we can see orders that are due, upcoming, and right here we see new orders entered today. And those are the orders that we just brought in through Field Exchange. If we double click on any of these lines, it's going to open up a view of those orders. So let's double click on new orders entered today. Now it's pulling up a list of all of those orders. Now we can view the work order by clicking on one of these buttons here. We've got the order column right here and we've got a button with our order number on it. So clicking that will show us what the office sent us. Now there are a couple things you can do here. Let's say, for instance, that you might have a subcontractor working for you, and you want to send these work orders to that subcontractor. Or another possibility is maybe you have a desktop at home and you can't bring it to the field, or you don't want to bring your laptop to the field because you don't want it to get stolen. In either case, you want to print out the work order. or if you have a subcontractor, maybe you want to email it. What we can do is highlight the order that you want to send out, then go up to Batch Functions, and click on either Print or Email Work Orders. You can even grab a couple at a time if you click and then drag. And you want to click and drag using the left-hand column. If you click in the middle of the row, it will not work. So click on the left-hand column. Then we'll go up to Batch Functions and either Print or Email. Both do the exact same thing. They both bring a view of the work order. So let's email this out. We'll go to Email as PDF and it's going to open up the emailer. And it has a default subject saying that it's emailing out work orders and the contents show 
a description of what's in the PDF that it's sending out. And you can customize this as well if you want to. You can add or delete anything. Type in our email address. And then we click on send, and that will send it out. And now that that's sent out, we'll then click close, and we'll end up back at the order search screen. Now we can see that the order status has now changed to in field. Uh, Sometimes it does not change from new order to in field, in which case you would click on the refresh button. So now those orders are sent out to the field.